So now we're on to the final challenge in the Node and Express course. And what they want us to do is, um, when we put the names into the form, it wants us to return a JSON. Oops. It wants us to return a JSON with the um, first name and the last name. So I'm just going to edit the previous project, like, like my own project here, just to show you how it works. So last time we set up this, um, in the last video, we set up this search post thing, which this form submits. And what it does is um, it runs the body passes URL encoded function, and it puts the name from here into the request body. So what I'm going to do now is uh, if when they search a name, it's going to return the correct um, object right here, or it's going to return not found. So what I can do here is I can just copy and paste this code from before. And instead of this, it'll be in request.body.name like this. So what this will do is when it goes to search, it'll extract the name from request.body.name, which is whatever was in this um, text box right here. And then it'll find um, an object in the people object with that name as the key, otherwise it will return it not found. So let's try running it. So app.j node app.js. And if I go to localhost 3000 and I put in Alice here and click search, we can see that Alice's data has been returned. And I can do the same thing here. I can put Bob here and Bob's details are returned. I can put Charlie here and Charlie's details are returned. But if I put something like Diana, it will return not found. So we basically created a system where we can enter in a query and search through some data. So here what they want us to do is, like I said, when they put a name into here, a first name and a last name, we just want to return a JSON response with the first name and last name together. So first thing to do is set up a post route for the uh, um, for the slash name. So again, if we look at index.html, we can see that the action here is slash name and the method is post. So we know we have to set up a post request for slash name. So if we go down to part 12 here, we'll go with app.post and then put the path in, which is slash name. And then we want to run the um, body parser function. And that is, we can just copy it from where we did it before. So it's this body parser dot URL encoded extended equal is false. And that was explained in the last challenge what that means. So this will put um, the first name and last name from this form into our body and they'll be stored in fields called first and last as they've been specified in the inputs. Then we want to write our own middleware function to run after this. So I'll put, put it in a new line. And what I'll do here is it'll take in a request and a response. And remember that um, the body parser has already put in um, into the request's body. It's put in first and last, which have our first name and last name. So we can do basically what we did here. So what this does is it instead of request query, though we have to put request body. So what this does is it creates a new string where it'll take the first name from the request and body, which was added by body parser. It'll put a space next to it, and then it'll put the last name um, from the request body, which again was added by body parser. And then it res um, res responses it as a JSON with name and then the string, which is the way they wanted it. So let's try this now. So I'm going to format it just to make it a bit clearer. And if we reload this page and we put John Doe in and click submit, we can see that John space Doe has been returned. And if I change this last name to Smith, and if I change the first name to something like Ellie, um, if we submit it, we can see that Ellie Smith has been returned instead. So this is now a working form that actually we can take in queries from inside the request. So yeah, that should be the last challenge completed. So you can just go ahead and paste it in and submit it. And yeah, that's the end of the basic Node and Express course. Really fun, really useful.